Hey there, this is Matt Williams from Technovangelist.com. I don't know about you, but I'm always on the lookout for cool applications that might help me out with a problem at some point in the future. And if those applications are sufficiently cheap enough, uh, not very expensive, I might go ahead and buy it. Otherwise, I might just download an evaluation to try it out and hopefully understand their value pretty quickly. But usually if it's if it's cheap enough, I might just go buy it and hope for the best. Well, ScreenFloat is one of those tools that I did that for fairly recently. It comes from this company called EternalStorms.at. And if you go to EternalStorms.at, it redirects you to this uh, subpage. And you can find this ScreenFloat. ScreenFloat is basically this tool that will take a screenshot and then float that screenshot on top of your on top of the window, you know, at the, at the topmost window. Which um, you know, it sounds pretty cool, but I didn't really I mean I got the idea, but I didn't really get it until this morning. I got it this morning when I really had a need for it. Well, that need came uh, after reading one of my news feeds. You know, I, I, every day, every few days, I'll go through my various news feeds. And today, I found one on parsing XML from the Unix terminal and shell. So this was actually a problem I was having just a, a couple of days ago, which I didn't really have time to, to focus on then. But I wrote it down on my list of things I'd like to get to eventually. Of uh, you know, I wanted to parse some XML from the terminal, uh, from the Mac terminal, and so it's it's funny that this solution came across uh, my reader just today, and it talks about this XML starlet on Stack Overflow. Well, it turns out there's a documentation page. Let's go check it out. Okay, so. I've opened up the documentation for XML Starlet, and you know I can see some uh, basic command line options. Great. Uh, I can see some further clarification of those command line arguments. And I can scroll down, and down towards the middle of this document are some examples. So here's some examples and some example style sheets, and then some commands. Okay, so I can take a look at uh, maybe this one. Count elements matching XPath expression. Okay, so here's the uh, the command. Okay, and it's working on table.xml. Hmm, I can't remember what table XML looks like. So let's scroll back up. And, uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, okay, I can't remember what the command was. Let's scroll down and try to find that command again. Um, oh, okay, there it is. Uh, I can't remember what the example was. Let's scroll back up. Um, yep, there it is. Okay, oh, I can't remember what the, you know, so you keep going back through this and losing a lot of time trying to find this command. And there's some other ways of dealing with this. Maybe I could pull this off, move this off to the side, and then I've got this other window, and I can navigate just to that, uh, that same document, but then I've got these two windows, and they're I'm having to figure out which one's on top all the time. And yeah, I could uh, uh, make them take up only a certain amount of space. So maybe this one only takes the left, and this one uh, takes all of the right, and that's a little bit better. But still, I'm having to manage the windows, and I don't want to have to do that. So Screen Float really makes this job a lot easier. Let's make this full screen. And so now I can come up to my examples. Where are they? There we are. And take a screenshot of the first three examples. There we go. And move that over to the side. And maybe uh, take a screenshot of some of the style sheets. And there are command line shortcuts for these, but uh, or, or uh, keyboard shortcuts for these, but I haven't remembered what they are yet. And move 
move that to the side. Actually, I want the examples to be closer to me. You know, I could resize these however I want. Can't read that right now, but uh, you know, I could resize them if I wanted to. Got a little options here. I can change how they float, or maybe they're just regular windows. Um, I could uh, send this to a another application. I could copy it, delete this note, delete this uh, screenshot. But I'm just going to leave it as it is. And notice I'm clicking on the window for Safari. Uh, but these things stay up on top, which is great. So now I can scroll down to what those commands are. Count elements matching XPath expression. Okay. Um, okay, so yep, I understand that command, and, and I see the example right here, which is great. So there are three records at the uh, num field level, looks like, or three elements matching that uh, num field XPath expression. I can scroll down through the rest of the commands. Validate uh, tab obj.xml against uh, this particular DTD. That's great. Okay. And um, maybe display the element structure of an XML document uh, based on this particular XML document. Well, that's really pretty cool. So anyway, I think this is fascinating. Uh, I'm, I'm really going to dig the XML star, and I am totally, totally digging this uh, screen float. I think this is really cool. Oh, by the way, let's uh, close these and close this one as well. And let's say uh, some time goes by and I, I come back to this window. I can very easily bring those things back up by opening up the Shots browser and double-clicking on any one of them to bring them back up onto the screen. So, and then close that guy, and I can go through this documentation again. So, I think this is really, really cool, and I love the fact that I have really quick access to various applications that I might, you know, maybe I want to open this up in Pixelmator and do some editing on that document. Okay, so that's a little quick introduction to how I am using ScreenFloat, and hopefully helps you understand what ScreenFloat's all about. You know, if you do want more information about ScreenFloat, just go to the uh, website eternalstorms.at. Click on ScreenFloat. They've got some screenshots of how you might use ScreenFloat, as well as a ScreenFloat in Action screencast which uh, demonstrates all the features of ScreenFloat. But uh, I thought this was, you know, I just wanted to share with you how I am using ScreenFloat. So hopefully this is useful, and, you know, who knows, maybe I'll do some more of these in the future. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Matt Williams of Technovangelist.com. Bye.